Alright, hello everybody, this is Snap here with some Fallout New Vegas Hardcore Mode. Now, I know everybody does not like the very beginning of Fallout New Vegas, which is why I've already played through it for you, for your benefit. Now, maybe some people out there like the very beginning. It's like a tutorial. I, I already went through Prim. I did everything in Good Springs. I'm idolized by them. Usually I'm a, I'm a bad person. I kill everyone in Good Springs, help out the Powder Gangers, but this time I decided to be idolized by them. But anyways, uh, to cut to the chase, I'm playing hardcore mode. I'm going to try and play all the way through the very end. Um in hardcore mode and get the achievement to do so. Um, so basically, I'm going to let you look at my pit boy here. Um, we'll start with my weapons, just get a good look at those. Um, I'm using, in the past I usually use either guns, energy weapons, uh, stuff like that, but now I've actually switched to melee. Um, I'm not going to use so much unarmed, maybe some, sometimes, but I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, stick with melee and guns. Uh, more melee than guns, because I, I've never really tried out melee weapons before. Uh, here's my apparel. Uh, condition of that arm is really bad, I'm going to go ahead and switch to leather. Um, I might repair it some other time. Uh, um... A miscellaneous ammo. Oh yeah, in hardcore mode, let me explain uh, the stats of hardcore mode. Um, you have to sleep, eat, and drink on a daily basis. Um, ammo is now now has a weight, not much of a weight. You can see there that 59 9mm rounds are only 1.71 uh, to weight. Um, then there's, uh, as always, there's always radiation. Um, I am not doing very good on condition. Uh, I, I was just made it to that, uh, outpost after you, after Prim. On um, all, all the way there, I met a lot of ghouls and they did a lot of damage to me. Now, hardcore mode isn't necessarily a harder difficulty. I still have it on, um, easy or normal or whatever. Um, but hardcore mode just adds uh, H2O water. You need to drink food and sleep, and also companions can die. Um, that's one other thing. They can die for good. Uh, here's my special. I try to keep everything above three. Um, I have luck very high because gambling in casinos. Um, if you have a very high luck, it's basically impossible to lose a hand to blackjack. And that's where I get all my money once I get there. Um, if you ever saw, I did have a considerable amount of money. Because I just finished playing caravan with that chick there at the bar. I think I beat her three times in a row and got a good amount of money. Here's my skills. Um, like I said, melee. Melee is pretty high. Um guns I, i'm trying to get everything to 20 and anything i do not want to use i'm not much of a sneaky person so i'm going to keep that kind of low unarmed is uh is up there um survival if you're in hardcore mode you want to try and use survival um yeah, that helps a lot when uh eating and drinking so you can just cook and make whatever you want to i do have wild wasteland on I don't know what happens in Wild Wasteland, but I have been told that it is something to try out. So I'm going to try that out. Trigger discipline and intense training that I used on, um, I think I used that on Charisma. I'm not sure. Or Intelligence, I think. Uh, idolized by Good Springs, shunned by the Power Gangers. And that's about it, guys. Alright, let's get it. Let's, let's get started. I'm not sure what time I started. I'm going to try and keep these to around 13, 14, 15 minute videos here so you guys won't get bored. 
but it won't be too long either. So anyways, I think I've talked to Cass already. I need to go to that, um, I need to go to that one guy, Ranger Jackson. He's gonna give me a job. I think it's like killing those ants or something like that. But, um, so yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this series. As I will be having a very hard time killing everything in my path. I've already talked to that lady up there. She's uh, sent me to, I think it was Nipton, to go check out the where the Legion burned the town. If I remember correctly, I got uh, quests. Um, oh yeah, I'm still trying to find... Oh yeah, I need to go to Myers and Prim to let him know that he can be the sheriff. And yeah, Nipton. And then I gotta do Cass's thing. So yeah, I am, uh... I'm gonna try and be good throughout this, this, uh, this walkthrough. As, as much as I can. Because usually, like I said, I, I, I am a very tend to be on the bad side a lot. Where's that guy at? I do a, uh, I do loot, as that is, uh, is this him? Yep, this is him. Looks like we got a visitor in the old Brahmin pen. Not many people coming here in a hurry, only passing through. And if you're passing through, you picked a bad time. Road North has gone to L. If I let a caravan through, they won't make it. Oh yeah, let me know in the comment section if you want me to uh, not commentate over uh, the people talking, or if you want me to just skip it, because I have played this game through about three or four times, and uh, I, I'm leaning towards skipping the dialogue, but if you guys really want me to not commentate over the dialogue, I, I, I won't. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. yeah, I'm going to try and be good, so anything I do in dialogue will always be towards good, or, I mean, there necessarily isn't a good or bad. I consider NCR good, everybody else bad. Or the boomers, I like the boomers, or whatever they're called. I don't know, you, you know what I mean. Good people, bad people, power gangers. Soldiers, no. Recruits, yes. And the Mavi outpost has been ordered to have a standing force at the NCR perimeter at all times. So sending anyone... Alright, so yeah, he is, uh, he has sent me to go clear out the road. Um... Yeah, the critters. I think it's just a bunch of ants and some scorpions. Um, it is night time. I do not like... Yeah, it's midnight, actually. Or morning, not midnight. Um... No, 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 this, this is midnight, sorry. What am I thinking? Um, actually, I probably will only do five hours. Or six. Six is good. Alright, let's go kill some, uh, oh dear, my dehydration. Oh yeah, you get affected at, like, every interval, like, two, I think it's every 250 interval, um, of, uh, dehydration or, or food. See, my hydration has gone past 200, so I have minus one endurance. It'll be, it'll be stuff like that. Um, I do need to eat. And sleeping, I'm fine by that. Let's see if I got, oops, see if I got any, um, drinks, which I should. That works. Um, I have to sacrifice some radiation. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm good. Oh, I've purified water, okay. Well, that works. Um, let's, let's see. Alright, I'm good. 
Alright, now we can go... Yeah, we can go kill some things. You guys get to see some uh, combat. I'm sure there will be a lot of combat. I'm planning on trying to keep this uh, keep this walk uh, walkthrough or playthrough. Um, I guess I should call it a let's play. Keep this let's play around 200 something episodes. I'm sure it'll be something like that because this game is long if you play through the ent entirety of it. But I like long games, and this is probably one of the best, best out there. Can't wait for Fallout 4. Although I have Skyrim too. If you want to see a Skyrim let's play of like on the hardest difficulty, I can do that too. Except you know, there's no hardcore mode on that, which I w wish there was. Okay, let's see if we can't get a, uh, I'm going to need, I'm going to need a long range weapon. I don't really, I want to go with melee, but I like to get a couple, a few shots off before I start going melee. Um, yeah, we'll do Vaughn Rifle. Here we go. Oh, run that, check that out. I need to set my shortcuts. Wait, why am I... There we go. I gotta admit, I do like melee. Melee is pretty fun to use, you, because in hardcore mode, since ammo has weight, you know, if you use melee weapons, you don't have to worry about that. He is, uh, stuck, so I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, dear, he's trying his best there. Oh, I missed. How did I miss? I'm going to watch this video over and laugh at myself. Alright, looks like I got a couple more. Um, I think if I cook this, oh, I leveled up. If I cook this, I'll, I'll be fine, so I'll keep one. Alright, so with the intelligence, I get 14 skill points. I plan to upgrade intelligence um, later on in the game, possibly, to get more skill points. I know it's probably best to do it early, but there's some other per perks that I uh, like. So, I'm trying to get everything that I use to 20 before I upgrade anything further. Um I don't like to see numbers in the in the teen or the teens like that. So that's that's basically what I do. Once I get everything to twenty, um I'm not gonna use those two. All all the rest I think I'm pretty much gonna use. Except maybe not that one. Just pretty much these in here. I'm just gonna go up like that. I find that the best way to, uh, the best way to upgrade things. And then since, I think it's every even number level, oh dear, I need to, uh, cut this video off in, uh, shortly after I pick a perk, but what I was going to do, um, yeah, I'm going to take that one right now, actually. Alright, I'm going to stop it right here, guys. Um. I'll see you in the, uh, I'll see you in the next video.